Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can create an appointment task in Toucan application on receiving a form submission automatically. So guys, Toucan is a delivery and logistic management application and you can create delivery tasks and appointment tasks in Toucan, okay, to manage your logistics. So guys, if you are using a form which is going to be submitted by any delivery agent and after that you want to create a task in Toucan, this automation is for you and with the help of this, you do not have to manually copy the data from the form submission and you do not have to manually add a task in Toucan. It will save your time by connecting both of these, the form application and the Toucan application together. Okay, so here we are using type form to receive a form submission. In place of this, you can use any other form as well. And we are going to set up this whole automation super easily without any coding. So let's start. So we are setting up this automation with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations, okay? So you can just sign up right now from this given link. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And here guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as type form to token. Okay. And after giving the name, just click on create button and the workflow page will load up here like this. <clears throat> And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So in the trigger section, you can connect that application, which is going to start this workflow. And in the action, you have to connect that application in which something is going to happen after trigger. Okay. So in our use case, uh, this, the form submission in type form will act as a trigger event and the action towards the trigger would be to create a task in token. Okay. So first of all, you have to search for the trigger application. So type form is our trigger app selected. And this trigger event would be a new entry or a new submission of the form. Okay, so click on connect here. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with type form. And from this window, you have to give the access to your type form account. So you have to scroll down here and click on accept the conditions and you will be connected with to uh, type form. You can see we are connected. And here it is asking for the forms name that you are using for receiving the submission. So this is the form I have created. Let me show you. This is the form named as token appointment tasks. And this is the link of the form. And I have created this to uh, get the details of uh, appointment task from any delivery agent or any person. Okay. So after receiving the submission from this form, I'm going to create a appointment task in token. Okay. So for that, I'm going to select the forms name first. This is the forms name. Now click on save and send test request button here. And it will start showing this waiting for the response. So this means now we have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to fill the form manually. Okay, and we are going to fill it on behalf of any demo person or any demo agent. And the after I, after I'm going to submit the form, the data of that form will be captured here in this response section. And that data will act as a test data for us to set up the automation further. Okay, so let me open the form here. And let me type a sample order ID. Okay. So let's say any demo customer is filling this form. Okay, so you can fill the address as let's say any address. I'm just showing you the demo. So I'm just going to fill some dummy details here. Okay, like this. Right. So I'm not filling all the details. These are not compulsory things and I'm moving forward. And here it is asking for the appointments date. So let me fill in the date here. Month is this, date is this. 
okay task completions last date okay let me provide a last date for this task okay let's say this is the same date i want the same date as the last date of the task completion okay so here i am clicking on submit and you can see the form is submitted let's check in our workflow if we got the date of the form submission all right so here we have received the response of the form submission and here when you scroll down uh, you will see the form submission details here you can see guys we have received the name as demo customer the order id okay and uh, all other details you can see the address street one city the date of submission or sorry the date of appointment and the last date of the task everything is here now guys after receiving the submission uh, we want to create a task and token application for that in this action step search for token and select it and the action event would be create new appointment task select this option then click on connect from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the api key of token application and you will find this key in the api section of token application let me show you that uh, this is actually my tokens applications dashboard and from this left hand side panel you have to click on settings option to reach the settings page and from here on the left hand side panel when you scroll down you will find this api keys tab right here click on it and here you will find this version 2 api key so you just have to copy this key like this okay and you have to paste it here in this field like this and after that click on save and you will be connected with token okay and here it is asking for the order id the task description the and all the details related to the task creation in token so we are going to use this test data that i have received here in this first step and i'm going to map the labels i have received here in this step to create a appointment task in token okay so to map the data you just have to click here and the previous step will appear here in the drop down and when you click on it you will see all the data here only okay so you have to find the data to map the data so the form submissions data uh, here is a bit complicated it's a bit tricky to see the things here so you just have to scroll down a bit more and at the last you will find the labels and here you can see this is the order id and this answer zero text label map it here okay and then scroll down and we have the customer name i think so you just have to find the customer name just scroll down here and this is the answer one text label here you will find the customer's name map it and uh, the ad address of the customer you will find in the answer two text label here you can see the answer two text label is showing you the address map it if you want to map the full address you can do that also Here you can see the city, street one, okay. So I'm just mapping it like this. You can map the full address too. And here it is asking for the start time and the task uh, complete before. That means the last date of task completion. So guys, I have received the uh, start date and time here in the first tab, but it is asking the uh, date in this format here. You can see in this format, it is YY mmdd and hours minutes and seconds so it is asking the time uh, date with time so we are going to change the format we have received here in the first step so we have received the date in this format so i'm going to just change this format with the help of a feature of fably connect which is called date time formatter so guys just click here on this plus icon in between the steps and another action step will open up like this and from here search for date time formatter feature here it is and the action event would be format date with time zone so click on connect here and here it is asking for the date and the format in which you have received the date and in which format you want to convert the date you have to select it here then you have to select the time zones okay so let me just click here and from this first step let me map the date So this is the date map it 
from which format you have received. So I have received the date in this format you can see yymmdd so like this and in which format I want the date so I want the date in this format you can see yymmdd hours minutes and seconds okay and uh, my time zone was Asia Kolkata as I am residing in India and I want to and I want to keep the time zone as it is so I am selecting Asia Kolkata again now I can click on save and send test request button and you will see the changed date format here okay so we got the start date and time of uh, the appointment now uh, uh, we also want a last date so guys I have used this same date as the last date of the task as well so um, here you can see it is showing the time as 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds so you can add some time in this time to create a, a, a to create another kind of to create to give some time for the task completion actually okay so let's say this appointment is going to take one hour to complete so I'm just going to add one hour to this time so that uh, we can get uh, we can get the end time of the task okay for that I'm just going to click here on this plus icon and I'm going to connect with date time formatter feature again okay and here I'm going to use another action step action event available which is called add slash subtract time and with the help of this I am going to add one hour to this time okay so for that just click on connect here and here it is asking to enter the date so from this last step where we have changed the format map this date okay like this and to this date I want to add one hour so just uh, scroll down here and in these expressions you can read the help text to add some values in the time you have to use these kind of for uh, commands here or words here so to add one hour you just have to put plus one then you have to put h o u r one hour so okay so here it is asking to which format you want to convert the date so i want to convert it here like this y y m m d d at t in bit oh, sorry a space and hours minutes and seconds because we want to use we are going to use the same format afterwards in the next step as well and the format I have received here is this yymmdd and this one okay All right now click on save and send test request button and here you can see guys we got this kind of result and here it is showing 100 that means 1 hour 0 minutes and 0 seconds so this can act as the closing time of the task so I am going to map the times here now so in the start time so here you can see as I am clicking now it is not showing us the previous steps this means uh, we need to refresh the connection here because we have added two more steps after this step so we need to refresh the connection for that just click on connected one more time and from here keep this existing connection option selected and from here click on save one more time here and your connection with toucan application will be refreshed here like this now when you scroll down and click on those fields like this the previous steps will appear here so from the second step map the start date start time and here map the map the date and time from the third step okay so here it is asking for the time zone so guys toucan app works on uni universally coordinated time zone that is the UTC format okay so we need to mention we need to enter the difference of time zones here in this time zone option okay so I am working in India so Indian standard time zone that is IST is ahead of UTC by 5 hours and 30 minutes so if you if you convert 5 hours and 30 minutes into minutes only it will give you 330 minutes so I am going I have to put here you can read 330 minutes has to be subtracted from UTC so the time zone is minus 330 here okay accordingly you have to put your time zone in UTC here so I have to put minus 330 in the time zone okay now you can select the team's name from the steam field the agent's name I am uh, I am leaving these things as it is as the default is selected okay and here I am going to click on save and send test request button and a new task will be created in toucan application let me show you the tasks here 
So guys, these are the tasks list I have in Toucan application. Let us click on save and send test request button here and see if a new task get added into the task list or not. And here you can see this is the response we have received. The task has been created. Let's check in Toucan. I'm going to refresh this page. And here you can see guys a new task with this order ID ORD1111 is added here. The customer's name is demo customer. Address is this. The start date is 29th of December and the completion date is 29 December 1 a.m. Okay, so this is these are the same details that I have entered here. You can see and the same task got created here. You can see the order ID was same and all the details are same. Okay, so this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and it is working fine and you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, it is going to work automatically and you can use the same workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.